chemical weapons attacks have been going on since 2013, um, but far more Syrians have been con killed by conventional weapons, barrel bombs and the like. Might that also be a trigger? I mean, President Trump clearly said that the use of chemical weapons uh, is what crossed the line for him, but is that the only line? Well, I can tell you that his focus was on the fact that innocent victims were hurt by a terrible regime that was attempted to be covered up by Russia or, you know, make excuses um, for Assad by Russia. And he said he wasn't going to put up with it. And to see the images, to see the pictures and to see the horror of that act. Knowing that it was a violation of the Chemical Weapons Convention, knowing it was a violation of multiple Security Council resolutions, he said enough. We're not going to we're not going to watch this anymore. So, but this is a departure. And I'm, while I'm not second guessing the decision, uh, you know, as I said, it's not the first chemical weapons attack. It's not right. the worst chemical weapons attack. And in fact, during the campaign, President Trump warned against getting involved militarily in Syria. T take a listen. Not that big an area. The airspace is very limited. So now you have, what are we going to start World War III over Syria? So he was, he was worried about starting World War III over Syria. Why is that no longer a concern and why was the 2013 chemical weapons attack, which, as you know, was deadlier, um, not a trigger for him in terms of the principle of an action in, in Syria? Well, he wasn't president in 2013. And but he I opposed can tell you, it. He, oppo he opposed action, though. But I don't know what his thought process was then. I can tell you what his pro thought process was this week, which was he is not going to condone chemical weapons use ever. And so what you saw was he wasn't just going to say it, he was going to act. And what we have seen at the, at the United Nations is a huge sigh of relief. They're just so thankful that the United States led on this issue. And we called out Russia because we needed to. We've put Iran on notice because that we need to get that um, influence out of there. And we've told Syria we are not going to watch this anymore. And so what the president chooses to do, I hope that what Iran sees and Syria sees and Russia sees is that this is a president that's not afraid to act. He's not concerned anymore, though, about this being a potential quagmire or about this potentially starting World War III. I can tell you that of the conversations I had this week, he knew what the risks were. He knew what the situation was. He looked at the history of the situation and he decided. And I think his decision was right. And I think you can see that from the international community. They all fully support it.